Hello, I'm Richard Vobes. I'm doing a test today with the Hero 2 GoPro. Now, before you say anything, I know it's old. I know it's a very old version. It's all I've got, okay? I've been doing some films uh, recently where I borrowed a friend of mine's rather lovely, uh, what was it, Osmo DGI, and I've been doing some walking videos and I've had some point of view videos and they've all been marvelous but the DJI has a few flaws and I've had to give it back. So I now, <laughs> I'm resorting to what I've got other than my large format cameras, which I use occasionally for the uh, corporate jobs that I do and, and sometimes go out. But if I'm walking, to be honest, they're too big. They're too big. I want something handy. I want something intimate. So I've gone back to my GoPro and I thought I'd do this test. And whilst I'm doing this test, I thought I'd share it with you. Now, the first thing I should say is I'm at my father's house. My father doesn't live here at the moment. He's in a care home and it's something that I come and maintain and look after for him. So that's why the house is sort of a bit empty. I come and cut the lawns and um, weed the garden, the patio and do a few bits and pieces and slowly in time we'll be clearing it all out. But anyway, that's another story. I'm recording not on the GoPro because the Hero 2, although it does have a jack in, it's uh, surrounded by the plastic um, underwater housing so that it will actually bolt onto something. So I'm actually recording with a rifle microphone. I've had this for a long time. I think it's a Sony rifle microphone, which I normally use on my bigger, large format cameras. And I'm recording that to a Zoom H2. Again, that's pretty old. That's in my pocket. So what is the GoPro on? It's not on a stabilizing system at all. No, it's got a bicycle mount uh, on the GoPro, which you can buy. And also it's attached, it's attached to a bicycle pump. That's right. You know the bicycle pump that you pump up a camera with, uh, a tire with? That's what's, what it's on. Now, I also am slightly aware that I may not be in the frame properly and I just want to correct that, that I don't want to stop filming because I want this to be one continuous take. So let me just dump you down here, which is uh, quite handy because it, it, now you're shooting up my, <laughs> up my nose. I've got my, micro, uh, my big microphone there and I'm just going to tilt that camera there. No, I think it needs a bit more. I can't monitor this. So this is purely me testing and this may come out uh, really badly, but I think, I think that's all right. Now, I'm going to go through my house because what I want to do is imagine that I'm out for a stroll. I'm going to go through the house and go into the back garden. Holding onto this microphone is a pain, but I don't really want to use radio mic with this because, I mean, the absurdity is that you'd have the radio mic going to the transmitter in your pocket and then um, you've got to connect the radio mic to the recorder and then you've got the recorder as well. So that's three boxes. I really rather not have three boxes. So this microphone is a bit big. So I'm just going to step outside now. We'll see how the old Hero 2, 2 works as I go down to the bottom of the garden. And as I come down to the bottom of the garden, it's a beautiful sunny day, which is rather nice. Um, down below me, if I do this, you should be able to see, I have no idea if you can, but behind me is my dad's old pond. And um, I do have to come down occasionally and pull out some of the weeds because uh, they just, um, well, I don't know that they're weeds, they're special aerating pond plants, if that's a term. It sounded like a good term to me. So um, that's quite jolly. Behind me is his old sheds. And I'm not really here to show you what's in his garden, but I'm more trying to work out if this is a, a potential way of doing a walking video, certainly from a selfie point of view, and recording it. Now, if I turn the camera around and do a point of view version, which is um, what I was doing with the Osmo, you'll, you'll see the difference because that will be wobbly. Now, in order to turn the camera around, expect for some extreme camera motion. So I'm, you're probably going to see the end of the bicycle pump. So I'm just going to shunt the camera up about here. And this is about as good 
or as bad as you're going to get on a handheld thing as you're strolling along and it's pretty grim now I did try one little test at home and I put this through some software stabilization um, which was not ideal because it took for blooming ever and actually then the picture degraded now this Hero 2 is how old is the Hero 2 five six seven years old the technology now is uh, so much better and the picture quality is so much better I would like to get a Hero 5 if possible oh look there we are oh I can go into a mirror let's go to a mirror there's a mirror in here see if this will show you the setup a little easier here we go <laughs> so I've got this big microphone there's you there's the uh, I don't know if you can see that the bicycle pump if I come back maybe I don't know or forward however that works probably not and then in my pocket is the zoom which um, the uh, it's an early zoom and the thing about an early zoom that, that's too high probably deafening you uh, the early zoom is that the switching on and off is not ideal because it's a very light touch and I'm worried that it being in my pocket it would switch off okay let's come back to uh, a more presentable mode which oops sorry about that a lot of a lot of fiddling uh, oh and, I, and of course now I've moved that camera and I've got to move it back again and there'll be a lot of there's a lot of noise holding the microphone I know that because I've did a little test holding the microphone let's just come outside here so this isn't ideal it's not perfect even if I got a smaller microphone I'd still have to fix it or hold it onto the fix it to the bicycle pump and then point it to me so none of this is ideal and I have been looking at other cameras and um, there's some good cameras out there and I'll probably I can't remember the there's the Sony what was it the Sony oh I can't remember the blooming numbers that's the trouble with me um, I'll put them on the screen that would be the best or talk to you about them in another video that might even be better <laughs> when I know what I'm talking about but they are um, ideal more ideal than this setup but I just thought I'd show you a little bit of wandering around so you can see the problem that I have the Osmo was good the Osmo was good uh, but not great because it meant I was out of focus there was other things with the Wi-Fi setup it took forever there was a number of issues with it I'd like to get something which I can switch on I can get on which will record the sound at the same time that I don't need radio mics and would be more simple um, so I'm investigating investigating and exploring so we'll see what happens but I thought I'd share this rather peculiar test with you and I'd be interested in your comments thanks so much for watching if you're interested in any of my other videos I know this one is probably a bit obscure then do subscribe give me a thumbs up and put your comments in the comments box I'd be very interested to hear what you suggest and what setups if you're a filmmaker what you use till then goodbye